Hello everyone. So up to this point, we've been taking a look at force equals mass times acceleration, but we've been looking at it on a flat plane. What we want to do now is sort of take it up a notch and see how incline or an inclination is actually going to affect force. So let's say for example, we have something that looks like this. We have an incline and let's say that this incline has an angle of x or x degrees. And let's put a box on this incline and give it a mass. And so this box will have a mass of m. The question now becomes what is the force acting or what are the forces acting on this box? Well, we know that there's a normal force, n. And normal force is going to equal the weight of this box times cosine x. So the question of course is what is weight? Well weight is essentially the mass of this box times gravity. That's what weight is going to be. So weight equals mass times gravity. Which means the normal force equals mass times gravity times the cosine of whatever that angle is, the angle of inclination, right? So this is what we're looking at when we're taking a look at the normal force. So the normal force is our regular mass times acceleration, but now we need to consider the angle of inclination that's working on this mass. Now, you might look at this equation and go, well, is this something unique? Do, do we only use this type of equation for an inclination? And the answer is no. Keep in mind, if we had an x of zero, that means we had no inclination at all, then we'd be looking at cosine zero. And cosine zero equals one, which means that the normal force, if we had no inclination, would equal mass times acceleration, which is again what we've been using up to this point. So with this in mind, let's do a fairly simple calculation. Let's assume that x equals around 40 degrees. Let's give the mass of the block 30 kilograms. And of course we know g is gravity, and gravity equals 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we can calculate the normal force acting on this block. So again, normal force equals mg times cosine x which is going to equal 30 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times cosine 40. And when you do all the mathematics, you're going to end up with 225.2 newtons. So in this one simple example, we have a normal force of 225.2 newtons. Okay, that's relatively simple. Now what we want to do is take a look at this in a slightly different fashion. So let's erase this stuff. And we're going to erase this as well because we want to draw this thing a little bit differently. Let's say now we've got our block still. And let's put our mass on a flat plane. So here's our mass. Well, now we have our normal force, and our normal force is going straight up, so here's our normal force. We have our weight, which is here, and remember weight equals mass times gravity. But now what we want to do is put another force on this mass, and we're going to put this force up here and we're going to push down on this block. So now we have a force pushing down on this block. And let's say that this force is coming in at an angle of x degrees. So again, we've got a force. It's coming in at an angle. It's pushing down on top of this mass. And this mass is on a flat plane. Well, now when we do a problem like this, it gets a little bit more tricky, but not inconceivable. Like, we can still get it done. So now the normal force is going to equal the weight 
plus now we have to add that extra force which is pushing down on top of the block. So we don't just have the weight pulling down anymore. We've got the added force also pushing in on that block. So now we've got weight plus the force, but it's coming in at an angle. So now we use the sine function. So we've got sine x force. That's what's pushing down on this block. Now keep in mind, if x equaled 90 degrees, if that force was coming straight down, then sine 90 equals 1, which means that the normal force would be the weight of the block plus the other force pushing down on it. But in this scenario, we've got that force coming in at an angle, so it's not going to be 100%. It's going to be some fraction of that force which is acting on that block, right? So now we can do this calculation. We can put it in numbers. And again, let's use x at 40 degrees. We've got m being 30 kilograms. Once again, gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we can calculate everything. Um, actually, there's one more thing we need to note. What is that force which is being pushed down at us at the angle? And that's something that we have to give. So force. In this scenario, let's say that it's 20 newtons. So it's not a ton, but there's something that's pushing down. So now we can solve this problem. So normal force equals W plus F times sine X, which equals MG, which is the weight, mass times gravity, plus F times sine X, which equals 30 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared plus 20 newtons times sine 40. And when we do all this math, we're going to get a normal force of 306.9 newtons. So again, we've got this scenario where we've got the weight pulling down on this block and then we've got the added pressure of this additional force coming in at an angle pushing in on this block. Okay, let's take a look at one more scenario. So let's erase all this board. And we're going to draw this picture slightly different one more time. Okay, so once again, we have our scenario where we've got our flat plane. We're going to put our box on it. And again, it has a mass of M. It has a normal force of N. And it has a weight of Mg, or mass times gravity. But now, rather than having a force coming in at an angle, let's instead have a force being pushed away from this box and it's going to be pushing away at an angle of x. So this is going to be our force. So again, in this scenario, we've got the block and it has a mass. It's being pulled down by its weight of mass times gravity. But now instead of adding force to the normal, we're actually going to be taking it away from the normal because we've got a force that's being pushed upward at an angle. So if this is the case, then this is not a particularly difficult um, calculation anymore because now normal is simply going to be weight and instead of adding that force, we're subtracting it because it's going in the other direction. So this is F times sine X. So this would be the new normal force acting on the block if you're doing it in this scenario, if the force is being pushed away rather than adding to it. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do the calculation for this last one. You can do that math if you'd like. Once again, just experiment with this. Um, but again, the whole point was just to see how different forces can act and affect the normal force. 
Once again, if you have any questions, please just let me know. Remember, take a look at those study guide questions and experiment with them. Um, change the numbers around. Give yourself some different scenarios and just try to solve problems. And that's absolutely the best way to learn this stuff. All right, take care. Talk to you soon.